what is it haven't you done enough the pain the torment the torture yeah so this is it but it looks so small i thought it was going to be bigger than this if you watch this video from the beginning you already know the reason why i bought this book <laughs> In case you are hearing any dog bark, we have a mad dog in our compound called Sid, the downstairs neighbor. Things on my list to do today is post on TikTok. I've been active here. I already come on Instagram. I post once a week on Instagram now. But on TikTok, I think I post almost every day. <clears throat> Let me talk to you people like this. I'm about to change my bed sheet, so there's no need me making it. So I want to buy stores now on Instagram. Well, I have a couple of things I want to buy, and my skincare products are almost out. I also want to restock on that. So, but before I do that, I want to post on TikTok. I don't know the content I want to post, but I'm thinking I'm going to repurpose any of my content because I don't want to pay any content today i'm trying to also edit for youtube because a video was supposed to go up saturday or sunday last week yeah but this is monday and i'm still yet to um, edit and the reason why i didn't edit is because i just wanted to rest and i think i'll finish taking my medications today i'll clean my room it's already after three or two four i'll try to eat i barely eat most times i eat once a day guess how much this four products cost guys just guess just guess i was so eager to see what's inside nylon i didn't read what she wrote here hello your skin investment is here healthy skin beautiful you i love the your skin investment is really an investment so annoying how expensive skincare products are these days what
a position that will suit me. I'm so uncomfortable. I don't know if I should wear this hoodie like this <laughs> or I should put it down my light is not working so I can't use my back camera so I'm using my phone like that my phone's camera so I just um, unboxed a package on TikTok and I thought to just come to YouTube since I already have um, unboxing videos that I've been doing guys two weeks now I've not posted on YouTube to edit just one video has been had i took my last injection today and as i'm talking to you now i have ice pack in my shot because i don't know it's the injection my the place they gave me the injection is swollen like, i've been taking injections since and today is the last day this last day on is so painful that when when i'm sitting it hurts it's swollen and the ones i took the other days like the previous days no complaint at all but this particular one oh my god maybe because it was another person that gave me this i didn't go to the hospital early today so someone else had to give me i think the other lady closed already but yeah that is that i'll be starting with this memories with soteria so i actually I, I don't have a child yet i got this for my future children guys if you remember while we were growing up i don't know if they still do it when they will take us to this um this class is this on the school classes they drop children before the, the adults will go into the church so they just drop the children and recently i was watching a video on tiktok and i saw some adults when they were asking them bible questions they cannot recite it while some can and surprisingly all the bible questions they like memory verses they were asking i could answer all of them so my spirit kept on telling me that these bible verses he didn't learn them when you are of this age you learn them when you were younger that's why they could still be in your memory and i remember that time there is this yellow book i think is book of jesus or some this yellow hard book that they do sell then when we were younger all children had it when i saw this book being advertised i was just like okay i'm going to get this for my future children and get for my goddaughters also so that they can memorize all these verses you get although it's not as much as the ones we do read when we're growing up but it's something as i was about trashing the papers they came in i saw this inside i don't know if it's two for one person because oh look at it no wonder this one see i'm just finding out when i ordered it i ordered for two i got one for my godchildren i got one for my children so the ones i got for my godchildren i told them to write a note in it surprisingly when it came one of the papers so it came in this paper so dirty not like it's only in nigeria you buy something new and it looks so dirty and it's not only this even things you pick on the shelves in superstores they are just so dirty so it came also torn although the guy apologized so one of them came torn so in my mind i was thinking oh it's the one for my children that is torn so i'll just open only that one and show you guys but when it got here it was actually the one for my god children that got torn why mine my children own were still intact because i wrote notes for them so right now i don't have children maybe in future i'm going to like write my children notes and put in theirs but for now because one of my god child my in fact um the senior one uh birthday is in august the same month as i am that baby came the same month with me that's how much that girl loved me because me and her will be friends when she did her mama belly. So it was now Michaela's own that came in the tone carton while my baby's own was intact. So I just tear. Yeah, did I just say my baby? <laughs> Please, you guys understand. So I just tore my future children own. So I'm going to repack her when I'm packing a birthday gift because she's August and i have to like I'm, i don't even know guys give me ideas 
what can I buy for a child that is almost no not almost she was born in 2021 this is 2024 so she's three years my baby is three years what can I give to her don't say dresses don't say hair packer um don't say glasses don't say have I gotten a research before I can't remember again but those things I mentioned I've gotten her before I want something fresh something new something she will see that she'll be happy I already told her mom about this so her mom said she will love this so I'm so happy that I I thought about getting her and my children this so the next package i'm unboxing when i unboxed that package the last time i told you guys that they gave me a beige or cream color bow which i did not like so i ordered the black one then i also ordered um makeup because i'll be doing my makeup myself on my birthday so the compact powder she was talking about i don't understand which one is compact powder here yeah. but she gave me free gifts and one of the side effects of the medications i'm on is confusion so when she says something that did you see this did you see that in the in the package i really could not get what she was trying to say so but i know that i did not order this so this is a free gift um yeah i get my makeup stuff from the athena store i think that's it i'll put the handle here i've been shopping from her for years and you know she's i have to check this mic because of the last time and you know she's a good person and you know so this one i got from her is a glitter for your body yeah that shine shine for body yes i'll be doing my makeup myself on my birthday and so then this this i got this and i got this and i got red lipstick and she gave me this for free she always put free things in my packages very thoughtful human being i love her so much then i also got this glitter for this place i want to do shine shine so not on no i really see on my bed that's this place is going to give me the strength then i also got these guys i don't know what to do but i feel like tomorrow i'm going to throw all the medications i have in my house away because i just found out that medications are are poisons they are all chemicals i remember talking to the doctor he said i have anxiety and for, <laughs> if the doctor refers you to the bible just know that <laughs> What you are having i didn't even want to talk about it but i think now if i have been healthy on a 30 percent or 40 percent i want to go at least 90 you know so i want to trash all the medications in my house i don't want to take medications anymore apart from those ones that are necessary for my monthly flow because i've been placed on drugs for my monthly flow and watch what i eat extremely now and eat in smaller portions now uh what do you want my husband has been observing me since yeah i just want to take everything extremely serious right now i'm not joking about it this time and i pray for god to give me the strength the energy to pull through i still have for you know when you start a medication you just have to finish it i still have about four tablets for the drugs that makes me confused like the drugs one of the side effects of that particular drug is confusion so i still have four once i finish it i'm trashing all drugs away because i feel like when you take drugs for something it goes it triggers another thing when you take drugs for something it goes it triggers another thing and i'm so tired of this i just want to be based on food like if i have kata or cough and one other thing that makes me take drugs is my stomach guys i have a very sensitive everything about me is sensitive and i easily get like my body is very sensitive that i easily get irritated you understand so anything touches my skin touches my body i react to it i don't know what to do about the fact that I cannot eat everything my stomach selects what I can eat but for now I have stopped taking milk I know that I react to milk okay
so we had to change over to light um so right now i just have to be extremely careful i don't want to be taking medications like that if i'm having cold or kata maybe i'll try something else i don't want drugs should be the next thing to go i also want to stop visiting the hospital frequently because honestly when you go to the hospital you complain about this they give you treatment for that later you do this you do that i know that there are some things i found out now that if i had not gone to the hospital i would have found it out but i think i i now i prefer not even knowing if i really need to take milk i just i know that almond milk is good for me I'd, I'd, i've done my research and see the type of food that is good for me and i pray by god's grace i can you know stick to it i pray for good health and sound mind for me and i think that is the biggest wish i ask god for as i'm turning a year older um this year i also pray for the strength to be able to push all my videos out including if i am going to have i will lose my hair today too because my hair is rough and my scalp guys i'm using dandruff um cream but it's like it's making the dandruff worse i don't even know it's just like i'm not getting my life together everything is just happening jugga, jugga, jugga. these past weeks have not been easy but one thing for sure i just thought to let you guys know in advance that i will have to stop vlogging for a while maybe after that if i have a big day vlog i will vlog and the better vlog will be the last vlog i will make i would clear up my phone i have something i'm working on when i'm done with it then maybe i'll come back on youtube but every time i don't post on youtube every time i don't film a video i have this guilt so what i will just do when i stop uh, maybe I'll just go to only TikTok and for Instagram I post only once a week. Sometimes I don't post at all. I could care less about that app at the moment. I just want to concentrate on whatsoever I'm working on, my business and maybe TikTok. I think that's all for the update. I want to remove this ice pack from my short. I can't lose my hair. I would have done a video of me losing my hair right now. Whenever I film in front of my mirror, it just gives me this another color like i look reddish and black in the video so i just want to go to that corner which is messy by the way my house is not dirty but things are just everywhere things are just everywhere because right now my mind is not together so i'm just going to go to one corner and start losing my hair while i'm been watching youtube videos and by god's grace i'll have the strength to to edit the videos I have. Yeah, that's what I want to say.
first meal of the day to a call and um vegetables what's up guys so i just got back <clears throat> from where i went to make my hair i've done this video before but um it was even brighter than this but i think i'll add a little brightness to this video because it's evening already and i don't want to put on my lights they will see me through the window i had to open the window for fresh air i'm actually eating like i showed you guys so this vegetable i made i made it with just two spoons of palm oil guys this weight loss journey i hope i can continue my fingers are crossed i just hope i can continue because it's for my body you know um but this is the first time i'm cooking any soup at all with two spoons of a more and i'm having it with a call and this is also my first meal of the day and yesterday night before i went to bed i had parfait a bowl of parfait and that was it till now i'm eating my i'm eating my first meal of the day i don't know if i'll eat before going to bed but let me just eat this one first i'm eating it i made it with goat meat and fish very delicious and with just two spoon of palm oil i have this meal my god i hope i stick to this I'm changing a little things. I think the next vlog I'll be showing you guys things I am buying to eat healthy. I eat healthy before because I don't drink coke, I don't drink soda, I take only juice. Um, I yeah, most of the food you even see me do like cakes, pastries, and that. I eat if there's anything lesser than one percent. That's what I eat from it because of my stomach easily gets upset, so I don't put everything i don't throw everything inside my mouth i just take little little and um what i want to say okay i want to talk about two things the first one is i've not been online for a while and whenever i come online i just you know repost to my story but i don't respond to messages and all of that but i've been on tiktok posting drafts and old videos repurposing videos i've not i've not been really active online yeah that's the word but today as i was coming i said i've not checked instagram for a while let me just you know go through my instagram and i saw bimbo posted something about a child suffocating another child to death and things like this trigger me because um i've been at the receiving end i know how it feels mean people mean children i had to unlearn relearn you know to be who i am today you know um aside from my parents i had no older siblings that would say okay this person has experienced this life you know like as a human being you learn from from your parents and there are some things you have to learn from a sibling older than you and people generally you know so um i didn't have a sibling that has tested the waters and I'll come and say okay girl if you want to do this do it this way no i do not have that so i had to learn and do the teaching you get so um things like this trigger me because i've been at the receiving end i know how it feels to be bullied in fact i nearly lost my life when i was in junior secondary school um one time due to careless kids that think being mean to people or doing certain things are funny whereas it's not funny because they would have been laughing and living their life if i had lost mine then you know and when i see things like this sometimes when i post it and post my opinion people will be like oh, why does she post things like this guy if you are a youtuber you have an online presence and you are not helping you are not doing anything with it you are not advocating for nothing i don't think that there is any need the most close to my house is 
talking i don't think there's any need for you to have that online platform honestly my husband always say that i cannot help everybody in the whole world i remember one time somebody asked me that what superpower would do you wish to have if you were to have one i said is helping people because <laughs> my dad would say if okay i remember when i was growing up and my dad kept helping people and i'll be like why are you helping this person is none of your guys my hair is paining me that's why i'm itching it it's none of your business why can't you just you know leave these people and you know do your own like they are not going to give you a trophy for this and and i remember then my dad would be like if you keep looking at people doing something bad and you keep saying it's none of your business it's none of your business one day it's going to hit home one day what if it happens to you so any position you are be it if you can help people physically morally mentally financially help people so and i noticed that right from time i've been the one that i'm always on the side of justice you understand I remember when we were growing up, me, one of the reasons why I, like, my own bullying was lesser than most people when we were in school was because I was very book smart and they know that if they bully me or try me too much, you know, nobody will do the assignment for them. They have nobody to copy assignments from, you know, things like that. So that was my saving grace that was what saved me when i was growing up just because i was book smart yeah so my bully was not like other people that were not really book smart or popular and i was also popular in school so if they want to bully me they just use mouth to insult me with something that maybe is a disadvantage in my body then i will now start crying and all of that then they had to come and apologize back because nobody to give them assignments nobody for them to copy yes so that was what that saved me so what about students that do not have that leverage imagine what they'll be going through in school or wherever you find children so if you have your platform pick up and if you've experienced these things and you don't speak up or do anything you're just, and it's not my business let me just look this is not my business let me just look one day i pray it doesn't become your business you understand because me i cannot see something that is bad and i yeah i mind my business like i am all one when it comes to minding my business but i have a platform i would use it to say my own opinion and what people should do to you know um avoid this and then in school one of the reasons why they don't even try me aside books but it's because they know that after they do their own i'm planning for them in future i must do my own back and that is what mean people deserve when they do something bad to you make sure you always do your own back let them know that they cannot do you do something to you and go scot-free they will definitely receive because most people they only learn when they feel the exact pain you felt you understand if they've never felt that exact pain they don't know how painful it is so you have to you know teach them that by giving them the taste of their own medicine that i've made before then secondly i finally picked a dress i don't know if i've mentioned it before here that i am making three dresses because i don't even know because i was very sick and i at that point i don't want to do my birthday anymore and i know that is the enemy trying to like do what he always do every time it's coming is getting close to my birthday and one reason why you know my birthday means so much to me especially last year and this year i was so happy i did a photo shoot last year because my mom didn't even live to see that year as at that year that i, I completed last year she had given birth to all her children and lost her life <sighs> god bless her so so it means a lot to me um and that thing has really traumatized me like traumatized me to the extent that it messes up with everything in me i digress so i got one of my dresses the remaining two i don't know what she's doing about it but taylor what have i really done to you what is it haven't you done enough the pain the torment the torture the pain 
determines the torture is it not enough oh yeah what is it because i don't know the only thing that i know that she has not really stressed me since i started making clothes from her that i will always love to make clothes from her place is too far like very far from my side i have to pay gate fee i have to do this i have to do ah no it's too much like no no no, no. i don't it look as if i'm traveling just to make clothes i keep checking my mic because i don't want what happened last time to repeat itself so i finally got one dress which i'll manage and if people see that dress is somewhere in my body act as if you did not see the mistake my love act as if what you did not see the mistake yes, people i feel this is the right time to end this vlog and before i end the vlog i just want to wish you happy new month because it's already first of august the time is currently 2 a.m i know i'm supposed to be sleeping because i'm feeling slight headache and i'm not my glasses my husband just even came here to like scold me that i am doing the same thing i'm supposed to do and you know i am supposed to like um have a routine start a healthy habit eating sleeping healthy habit but i don't know i've been finding it hard to do that and that's one of the reasons why i want to take a break from youtube let me clean my camera because this camera is looking blow before i go on i want to say happy new year have i said that before I want to say happy new month yeah have i said that before i don't know but even if i said i'm going to put it so you guys will see how these medications confuses me and what is really going on and um i stopped taking the medications at some point i'm not taking any medications and i do not want to take medications for a very long time because these medications are poisons to the body um, big brother ninja is on right now i don't know if you guys can hear anything but let me quickly um turn that down so yeah i just turned that down i want to try and cultivate healthy habits for my health and if i do not take a break from social media feeling like i'm i'm 10 steps behind if i don't post if i don't rock my head for content you know if if i take that burden off my shoulder i think i'll be able to you know cultivate good habits before i start sipping in content creation routines yeah i think that is it so but before i end this video i want to quickly talk about quickly talk about both things so this is an unboxing i got something i want to show you guys i finally read this book and yeah the book I, I highly recommend although one thing i'll say is it's not as much as a book as the book of my bible story i think i remember the name of that book now the book of my bible story if you watch this video from the beginning you already know the reason why i bought this book yes yeah, so um guys pardon my nails i'm going to do it in two days yes yeah, so um it's not as much as the book of my bible story but it is something um at some point there was a place where a a child a, a male child was sitting on a wheelchair or he was sitting in a wheelchair and this the, the place says i am brave i know a child would definitely ask a mother or his mother why is the child in a wheelchair and all of that i know you can explain that but yeah but you can simply just tell the child that um some children feel timid because of the conditions they are in and they need that extra affirmation to not make them feel lesser than other people that are not disabled because clearly that child was disabled yeah and i made this necklace recently it's actually a double necklace i removed the other one um and i've been on this necklace for a very long time and i said i was going to complete this necklace by fire by force tonight and i did so today that's yesterday was a very very stressful day 
I got up, I left the house by 12 p.m. I went to, I, I want to take you guys along um, to that VIO office again where we are doing our driver's license. Um, for context, I'm the one doing a new driver's license. My husband is renewing it apparently and they have given him a slip that allows him drive round Lagos without anybody disturbing him pending when his driver's license is going to be available now when he did his first driver's license it was not as difficult as this one is and the place he did the first driver's license is not even as posh you know and doesn't even look as organized as this particular office we decided to i don't know if the guy we gave the money to to do this driver's license is trying to play something sneaky but I, I don't know i really don't know but today when i saw him i spoke to him and i'm like okay i'm supposed to come for my capturing today what is going on you kept on one of the things that kept on delaying this capturing was because this man kept on saying oh th there was something happening oh they can't attend to it today that i'm supposed to do the capturing they print out the certificate and all of that the man said it was not my sarah that they did they did another sarah they delayed the work they did this they did that so i'm like is it that this man was not picking thinking that we're not going to come to the office or i really don't know what he is getting at but he said that on tuesday everything is going to be ready this is a new month now august that on tuesday everything this is something we had paid for since may that on tuesday everything is going to be ready then on friday i can come for the capturing if i can if i decide to vlog the process i just hope i get my driver's license and my husband gets is renewed driver's license and my, after that my husband said let's go to the market and before now i'd already said i wanted to go to the market because of this protest that they've been clamoring for august first and my husband was like no we cannot go august we cannot go to the market but suddenly he realized that we should go to the market and stock up and i've also been planning to go to the market because i now have a food timetable i am a healthy meal plan for my home and i would want to buy everything the only thing i didn't buy today is brown rice and whole wheat bread i think or whole wheat grain i, I can't remember but that is the only thing i did not buy today but every other thing i bought both and that is what i'm going to show you guys in the next video but i'm kind of confused about the next video because i it's supposed to be my birthday prep and behind the scenes of my birthday shoes that i'll be doing myself and how i did it um, the amount i spent my birthday then gift unboxing but at this point i want to chip in um how much it cost me to eat ld or live ld in nigeria so i'm thinking maybe i should do a separate video entirely because i want to break down um what i got the amount um the cost and you know just show you guys everything i got to start this healthy journey and that brings me to this so i got this scale i got it a couple of um i got it a few days back it was delivered to me my husband had ordered it for me because i was just so bent on getting this scale i told him that it's going to help me weigh my food before ingesting them and it was like ah, you don't even eat much before why do you want to start weighing your uh, meal and i'm like it's just going to help me eat better yeah um and the thing is i don't eat in the morning most times i eat once a day then i take fruit and i drink water but i don't know it's just so hard for me to lose some weight because at this point my goal is to lose weight <laughs> so i'm just going to put the food on it and know how heavy or how many gram or kilogram the food is yeah so um yeah so this is it but it looks so small i thought it was going to be bigger than this a bit 
So if I put my plate on it, it's not going to even cover the numbers. Well, I'm going to show him that this is how it looks. Maybe I can return it. Maybe I will try it and see if it works, does what it is supposed to do. And I'll show you guys. I was also thinking that before I go off, I don't know if you guys would be interested. Maybe I should do what I eat in a week or what i eat in a day so that you guys anybody that wants to start a journey like this you're interested in starting a journey like this you have an idea of what to eat if you want me to share the timetable i can do that in the description if you also want me to share bible verses i'm the type of person that i really keep my faith to myself because i know i have a personal and very you know lovely relationship obviously i'm abba's delight so i have a very lovely and personal relationship with god and i hardly discuss about it but if you want me to share bible verses that i read to help me with anxiety and all of that i can also leave that in the description if it's something you are interested in just let me know in the comments and i would um either send it to your dm or i will just leave it in the description i'll just edit the description and put it here so you can go back there and you know um read it or i hope it helps somebody and so we've come to the end of this video in my next video i'll either join tops from my birthday with the healthy meat plan or i would just you know um separate it if you enjoyed watching this video please let me know i really don't know if this video will make sense after compiling it but i know i am going to try my best to like put it together so that it makes sense to you guys and one other thing i didn't say about that, about that book the book has words of affirmation on it so maybe when your child finish reading a particular verse and the verse is stuck to ease or a memory you can just reward them with a sticker to place in their room or like just a, a sticker of reward to them and the book is quite nice i've not scanned this code to know what it is about but i read the book and she really 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 um did well she did her best but from this book you as a parent you have to take it up from here to write short bible verses out and i'm going to try to see if you also have an idea let me know in the comment section if that um the book of my bible story is still available like do they still sell it yeah i would love to also know that yeah too good see you guys bye